What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co host, Sanea. Hey, guys. And we're back with an all new video. You like that? Come on, somebody. I'm going to put a little on your lip, me on your other thing. You never had dry lips. I know. What's going on here? And my hands. I feel like I'm calling my hands. I might be dehydrated. My hands get so dry in this weather. It's not even funny. Like, they are literally white. Yeah. And it's not even like, okay, the ash is fine. The ash is fine. They start cracking. It's no, almost like I have crazy. eczema. Oh, so now your nails look nice. Thank you. I like them. Thank you. It's getting ashy on it. Got a little girl. So, yeah, guys. Yeah. I thought we were getting Easter. Mm -mm. You gonna head them for Easter? No. Oh. So, guys, we're back with an all new video. It's been about a week and a half since we've last been here. I'm still fighting through no social media, no bread for um, Lent. Mm -hmm. I'm getting through it. I got two weeks and a half left. Um, I told my coworker today that the first thing I'm going to have is either this bagel that I really, really love for breakfast, or I'm gonna have a cheesesteak. And I've already told myself that because I told y'all I started cutting back. And I feel like I've been doing a good job. I want a new scale for this house, so I need something like official. Our scale is kind of tricky for me. Sometimes it's telling me, sometimes it's trying to tell me I'm 250 pounds, sometimes it's telling me I'm 350. I don't like that. Because you're not getting on it right. Because mine is it's always consistent when I get on it. It's never consistent for me. Because you're not doing it right. But I went to the ER on Friday. So I know I went to the, I went to my primary care doctor on the first. And then I went to the ER literally like a week later and I had lost like four pounds. So I was excited. I was Very like, hard. maybe my hard work is paying off. Cause I'm not doing like a whole lot of work. I'm literally just doing like these stretch videos in the morning at night or I either do either or. And um, I've just cut out like super hearty breakfasts. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I don't really eat like pancakes and stuff through the week. Sometimes I treat myself on Fridays to a hot cake from McDonald's, but um, on the weekend, sometimes I have a hearty breakfast, but I've literally just been eating turkey sausage oat with oatmeal or yogurt or boiled eggs yeah, or know. omelet. Like, it sucks. Mm -hmm. It sucks because it just sucks. I would rather eat four bowls of cereal. I actually had a very nice breakfast this morning. I had a scrambled egg mm -hmm. with my signature onions, peppers, and spinach. Mm -hmm. A little bit of shredded cheese, and I put sliced jalapenos on top. Mm. A bomb mm. with some turkey sausage that I like. Kind of, I already have them cut up in like sizes that I want, but then I I slice them like a little, so they're like little half a moon, mm. and then I let them get real crispy. Yeah, and then like for lunch, I'm still like like I made enchiladas last night, so instead of like. I'm, I'm still eating regular food. I'm just not overeating. Like, instead of packing two, I just packed one. Right. And then, like, for dinner, I just had one. And then, um... Is that the serving time? What? An enchilada. One. Mm -hmm. I've been looking at the serving side and stuff. Like, and then, like, like I haven't completely cut myself off from snacks. But, like, like I'm not eating, like, regular Doritos. I'm not eating, like, cookies. Like, I got some sugar-free wafers. Yesterday, I bought some sun chips and some hell of a dip. And I've been reading the serving sizes. Mm -hmm. And it literally was like 14 chips is like 130. So, I'll either take 14 or I'll take double. You know what I, you, I would say, you know what I used to do? Mm -hmm. I actually used to look on the back of the chips to see how many, I, whatever chips gave me the most. So, like, because some chips you can get up to like... Oh, yeah, I know. 20 in yeah. a serving size. So, yeah. yeah, that's what I was doing. But I'm not... Recently, like, I really haven't been eating a lot of chips. So, I, I was just... St. Patrick's Day? I was kind of craving them. Yeah, y'all like them? Y'all know Bruce's birthday is St. Patrick's Day. Yeah! If you don't get... But, um... I've been trying, guys. I really have. And um, by me not mm. eating bread... I mean, I, I am eating, like, um tortilla, so... That helps, but like, so like since I haven't been able to have bread for so long, like I feel like I'm mentally okay now so mm -hmm. that I can finally get to a space where I just have bread once a day mm -hmm. because I was really in a bad space. No, that's good. No, because in some, you, sometimes you don't think about it, um, but I kind of had to do that to myself because mm -hmm. I was making myself a breakfast sandwich, coming home, eating a midday sandwich, and then, I mean... 
if we want a barbecue chicken sandwiches or a pie, I mean, like, or pot pies and a biscuit, like, you really, you be like, damn, I No, I was telling Nene, bad. like, this would, this would be a norm for me. Like, I would have a bagel, then I would have, like, a l left, like, lunch meat from home. Mm -hmm. I, would make a, I would bring stuff to make a sandwich, and then for dinner, we would have, like, spaghetti and garlic bread. That's a lot of That's bread. That's a lot of bread. Mm -hmm. And pasta, so. Yeah. I'm just slowly but surely trying to get myself together before I saw this program called Core Life. I really feel like I'm going to do a good job. Oh, can job. I say one more thing? It's just because you like to write, and I always forget to write. Maybe you should try a food journal. Yeah, a lot of people said that. Because it really shows you, like, how, and that's what I was telling Nene, because Nene doesn't think she overeats, mm -hmm. but I think because she's old, sometimes she forgets that she eats. Um, so if she would write it down and she could actually see, like, oh, shit, I ate that. Like, I ate that. I don't even know. I'm more so, to, in, in my opinion, I over snack. And if it's something I really like, that's when I get crazy. Because it'll be like, like, let's say today I make barbecue chicken, macaroni and cheese, or, and, uh, like, cabbage. I'm going to have, like, one, maybe two wings. Like, I'm good on meat. No. I'll have a half a plate of macaroni and cheese and then like a scoop of cabbage. That's where I'm fucking up at. So like Sunday, I had macaroni and cheese. I literally like just made me like a circle of it. So I'm just... That's why I'll be eating out of the child's plate. I mean, that don't mean nothing to me because I'll help. eat five child plates. No, because my thing is I try to match up my vegetable with my starch. So however much I try to match if it the tastes good, meat. I will. But it doesn't matter. No, it matters to you me because I can't it. swallow it. Like sometimes it's like sometimes Tanae's spinach is like so good, but then sometimes because I never like spinach, but then sometimes it goes back to the old way when I was younger, and it just tastes like spinach. Like sometimes I can't get it down. But I'm always getting down. I like um like cabbage and stuff. Like I can eat that all day. But anyway, I'm just I just want y'all to know that like I am trying um I'm, and I feel like I'm like mentally in a space where cuz it's a mental thing. You got to be you can't just yeah, you got to be mentally ready to do it all over again. I mean, how many times have we done this, guys? Yeah. For all the people that have been watching the show and it's just like I know that you know just from watching TV and stuff and listening to those doctors I know I have a food addiction. Absolutely. You know, it might not yeah. be like as extreme as other people's, but I do have a food addiction. I literally tell myself this. You literally will not stop or change your eating to live longer or to be the goal that you want. It shows that you have an addiction. It may be mild or not as severe. Like we're not eating a whole pizza. But it's out, but definitely an addiction right there. It especially because I was telling somebody... See, especially because I cook my own food. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. And because I smoke, it's like, I make it into like, it's almost like an experience. Mm -hmm. Like, I've heard several times, you can't just make like regular food. Like, it's just like, I know this is going to make it taste good, and I'm going to add this, and I'm going to add that, and then I'm going to smoke, and then I'm going to come downstairs mm -hmm. and finish so I can eat it hot. It's a good time for me, so. My thing is, like, I either get stuck on a food and I eat it, like, back, 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 back. Or I just, her I just want to eat what I want to eat. Like, I, and that's what I think, that's why I think that I feel like this time I'm really going to do good because I'm not depriving myself. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling myself when it's unnecessary. Like, this morning, I had oatmeal and I had turkey sausage. I wanted to get a hash brown, but I was just like, this is going to fill you up. Yeah. It's not about what you want right now. Like right now you're trying to fuel your body mm -hmm. and you're trying to get into a healthy position to where maybe you can start enjoying, like you don't have it more, but like right now you just can't do that because in a minute you're going to be on fucking my thousand pound best friends and shit. Well, oh, that's like the other day I told myself, um, did you unlock the door? I don't know about oh, well, that. The screen door is kind of tricky now. I, I told myself I didn't need to, you know, those cereal cups. Yeah. I don't need to do Oh, I, I'm eating two of them. Those little cereal cups that you have in the market. Those little cereal cups that you have in the market. Shut up. Shut up. I thought the door was unlocked. I'm sorry. Um, shut up. Um, what's your name? Mm. Chippy. Uh, when can I taste my samosas? I'm going to try it. Indian food Chill today. Chill down, sis. But anyway, I'm 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 trying, guys, and I just feel like when I start this program, hey, well, Chippy I and Peppa, shut it's, up! It's not Chippy, it's Peppa. It's both of them. 
when I start this program, I think I'm going to I'm going to um, really put my all into it. I feel like I'm really going to start to drop the pounds. And like I was saying, I'm not depriving myself. I'm still eating the things that I really like, but I'm just not overindulging mm -hmm. like I want to. So I'm just hoping that it works because I just want to get into a space to where I just know like I'm in a space right now to where I'm like kind of mentally abusing myself. And I don't want to do that. Like that's when it's bad. Like I just... I'll eat something that, like, I'll eat a lot of something. I'll just be like, you know that was unnecessary. You, you know you didn't need that. And now you can be fat forever. Oh, and yeah, I'm definitely calling myself a fat ass bitch. <laughs> like, you fat ass <laughs> bitch. Get out the bed and move. Yeah, so it's just, it's, like, kind of depressing, too, because it's just, like, dang. Like, I was looking at my my past history on my MedStar mm -hmm. portal the other day. And it was just showing like the my different sizes over the years. Oh hell no! Bitch. I would never look at no shit. I was like, like you fucking crazy. A hundred pounds less in 2016. We're not gonna talk about it. We're gonna keep on moving. So yeah, we're just gonna do back. I was looking at my pictures from when I came. I, I need to stop doing this. But I was looking at my pictures from when I came back from Paris, and I wasn't. Of course, I was never a small girl. But it was just like, I could definitely see, like my face looks so much different now. How you feeling? Okay, my face looks so much different. Like my clothes feel different. So I definitely gotta go back. But it's just like, I when I was doing that, I was doing keto, but I don't really want to do keto because it's mm -hmm. so restrictive. And I, I just feel crazy. I never had any food I'm under try these. But the issue is I got my braces tightened this morning. So. Oh, shit. Oh, my Lord. You should have told me. I don't know about the thought. That's okay. Mm -hmm. See, I've never had one that big. Usually all the ones that I had. That I thought it was going to be like a... Um, like a one time. Yes. Yeah, the ones I've had are smaller. Okay, so... Two announcements. I want to make them in the beginning because... So I know me... When I be watching the Scorpion show and Ashley and y'all, I have to watch it in parts. So I know sometimes I do that. Sometimes I might not make it to the 40 minute mark. I don't. So today, first update us on the fish fry. Oh, hey guys. So doing the fish fry this year. I just put a post on my story, but I'm definitely going to put a post post. But I was just kind of busy today. Fish fry, Good Friday. 12 to 6, we're delivering to some areas, but come and pick your food up. It's the same thing that we have all of, every year, except for this year, there will be no um, deviled eggs. Um, it's just too tedious, and eggs are just too, way too Did you take cornbread off? I got your cornbread on there. Oh, yeah, no, I, I forgot about that. Yeah, no, I definitely took that off. Um, so, yeah, but, um, yeah, I'm excited. We're excited. It's... All dinners are twenty dollars. All dinners are twenty bucks. All sides are three dollars. And if you want a person a side of seafood salad, it's five bucks. I feel like that's what it was. Yeah. Time, so. Everything comes with either chicken and or fish or both. Yeah. And you get two sides, a drink, and a piece of cake. So yeah. DM Taneo. Because Tiffany's not on social media. I'm not on social media. So DM me on all socials. I'll be checking. If you have my number, text me. If you don't have my number, then you can DM me. You have a cutoff date? Because um, Good Friday is what, like the 7th? Yeah, so I'm going to come. I'm going to follow up with a cutoff date. But I'll probably make that. The cutoff date will probably be the 1st of April. Okay. So y'all got a, a week. Literally. A, no, y'all. I mean, y'all literally have two weeks. A little bit over two weeks not to like get y'all ordered in. And I'm not telling y'all what my stopping number is, but I have a number that I'm definitely stopping at. So you may want to get your orders in, especially if you're doing like doubles, because it's not. I'm not saying sixty people or seventy five people. I'm saying I'm stopping at this amount of dinners. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I just don't because I always get some people, you didn't tell me, blah blah blah. I didn't have enough time. So it's just like with every avenue that I can think of to talk about this someone, I'm gonna do that. Um the second announcement is um I announced a couple weeks ago that we were gonna be doing like a little mini live show. A friend of mine mm -hmm. is um gonna have an event where he has different podcasters. I think we're gonna be the only YouTube show. Um and we will take the stage for I think twenty to thirty minutes. The tickets are ten dollars. 
if you just want entry, they're 30. If you want brunch, um, his brother-in-law has like a catering company. He's going to have brunch and um, I think they're going to have like mimosas and stuff like that. I can't, I, I've, I've never had his food, but it does look appetizing. So um, it's definitely up to you. Like I said, if a certain amount of people come, I'm down for us to all go out to eat afterwards. If that's what y'all want to do, I had about six or seven people reach out to me and say that they wanted more information because they wanted to come and is here in Baltimore. I know some of y'all may be coming from DC or Delaware or Jersey or something like that. So I'm going to put more information in the description box. And I really wish I had, it, it just, it's so hard not being on social media because that's how I really like um, message y'all. So if y'all don't follow Tanea, her name is at Tanea Loves You on Instagram. And on Twitter, um, if you have any extra questions That's for her name on Twitter anymore. Oh yeah, her name is Twitter. Alien Fupa Star. They won't let me back. Um, Fucking Elon Musk. If um y'all have any questions, DM her or comment under this video because without social media, if y'all notice, I've been replying to her a lot because I'm not distracted by anything right now. Mm. Um, <laughs> but I really want to see some of y'all. I really want to meet some of y'all. Um, y'all been supporting us over the years. Shout out to the people who said they really want to come. Diamond said she's coming. Diamond is so funny. <laughs> of course she's coming. <laughs> I wouldn't be, I'm not even surprised. So, um, yeah, it's not like a big, big thing, but this will be our first time doing anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, I know my family and friends will support, but I would love to see the people who actually su have been supporting us over the years because, you know, family and friends, I mean, they, they see the Tiffany and Tanea show in person, yeah. so they don't necessarily be tuning in, but y'all tune in and y'all support us, so, um, is this a P? Yeah, I think it came out of the answer, not sure. Um, so that's who I really want to see, so, those, so just make sure you check in the description box, any questions, um, DM or comment. So, once again, Tanea got the <laughs> comment, we got the, uh, topics for the show, so let's go through the list and pick what we're going to do. Where should we start? Drake's going on tour, guys. Yes, he is. I'm really excited about this. Um, but I'm also kind of pissed off because it's just like everything with Drake lately is so fucking unorganized. And I hate that shit. Every time he's supposed to come out with an album, now he wanna do surprise albums or he give us a date and then he push it back six months and or then it just randomly is coming out Friday and then he says he's going on tour and then they stop the tour and now they're doing like do y'all understand that we don't have as much money as y'all bitches do? No, he don't, don't he give us that money during the pandemic. He didn't lose anything. Y'all don't he give did. us time to plan anything. It's just it's so frustrating. It's I mean, even with it being pay week, like I was telling one of my friends today, it's like I, financially I could get whatever ticket I wanted to but I got shit to do right. I got bills to pay so I just can't be randomly dropping $400 on one ticket right now I have already did that for Beyonce but it's like Drake you didn't even give me time but anyway Drake and 21 Savage are going on tour um it's called it was it's all a blur it's a blur it's yeah, a blur like um I'm excited yeah. um <laughs> I'm excited and I've both of the concerts we went to, we've never been like super duper close, but we've always had a great time. Mm -hmm. And I was telling Chrissy today, I want to know who bought our tickets for the last one because I want to mm -hmm. see what section it was. I did. Can you go on your history of fun? We, I think we were in like, I'm gonna go look, but because that was, was like that was but fine. See, for also, me. But the the thing is that the stage is different now. I know. I saw because it's, it's, it's in the it's, middle it's though, rotating. and it's rotating. So yeah, so we I just don't know. Like mm. I don't know. I I, I really like that spot. Yeah, I but no, love we that spot. it was a good time. Why so is my thing stuck like this? So now I got a new phone, y'all. What the fuck does this yeah, even what kind do? Of phone you got? I don't know. Um, Juan Dixon got fired. If y'all don't know Juan Dixon, y'all remember um, one of his, uh, the kids that played on his uh, basketball team at Coppin State, actually here in Maryland, reported to him that somebody on his team, one of the other coaches, was sexually harassing him and um, extorting him. And he was getting no help from Juan Dixon or whoever else he told. So he went above their heads. Um, he got a lawyer and everything. And... He put it out there that he had told Juan because Juan is the head coach. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, it's been some months now, but I told my coworker today, I really feel like by Juan bringing so much negative attention to the college on top of that real housewife yeah. shit, 
<laughs> but see, they also, fired his ass. I didn't know because I don't, well, I don't watch sports. But they said it like it was he was a terrible coach. Like they're not doing good as far as games. And like so, they didn't want. They didn't do a lot of winning under him. So, so one thing yeah. for high five. So y'all know what that mean. He about to be a bitch again. I would ass. say, and Robin's ass ain't going nowhere because she needs the money. Well, yeah, I was gonna say last time. Um, when he like lost his career and stuff, they that's how they ended up. When the seat, when Real Housewives first started, it was kind of like them going broke. So I mean, I was broken on nobody. I mean, they got two sons, but. The shit is embarrassing. Mm -hmm. It's embarrassing. And you know what? Uh, nothing good comes to you niggas who cheat. Definitely not a hairline. Because one, <laughs> whew, mm -hmm. I'm not one to talk about edges in a hairline, but all of this is gone. All of this is gone. All, this is gone. all of this is gone. Look at these trash ass niggas out here and look at their hairlines. That's all I got to no, say. No, I mean, it's true. So. Um... Oh, yeah. I th we did talk about that new Sienna Taylor movie, right? Did it come out yet? I don't know if it, we talked about it, or, but it comes out at the end of the month. Stop that! Yeah, I'm really Shit. excited about the see the Sienna uh, the Taylor movie. I know she um she got her son back like out of foster care. She mm -hmm. was like locked up or something. I don't know what happened, but her son was in foster care, but she took him back. Like, I don't think he was. she was supposed to take him. Yeah. So, I feel like it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Um, And Tiana is, no. is in her element, you know. She's really a stud. Um... Lindsay Lohan is pregnant? Yep. Mm -hmm. What? Lindsay Lohan is pregnant. Is she sober? I'm hoping that she's pregnant. Is she like big? I don't know. She didn't. She just put out a little post and it's not, we didn't see her. She oh, I thought she like posted a picture. No, she posted that she was having a baby. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. How old is Lindsay Lohan? I'm guessing 35 or 36. I mean, or 37. Look at us. There's still hope. Yeah. Let me see. Let me find out, Lindsay. Lindsay, I was actually just watching. Um, I just watched Mean Girls the other day. She's thirty six, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just watched Mean Girls the other day, and I was like, "Wow." Um. Oh, and Rachel McAdams is forty four. Mm -hmm. hmm. Wow, Lindsay! Congratulations. You know, sometimes a baby will ch change your life in a good way. So, That's hope. hopefully, it will. Um. What Tristan done there now? Nothing. She just she said happy birthday to him, but it was just like oh, I was gonna say long like, and it's just like I know people who have a baby daddy. I know people who have good baby daddies. Mm -hmm. I don't. They're not posting like she's like um, happy birthday. You are the greatest father. I just want you to continue to change and continue to soar and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, girl, shut the fuck up. What about that extra baby you got? Um, no, but then? she showed the picture of all the kids except for that one. Can I see the picture? Um. She showed, she showed the baby? Yeah. <gasps> I want to see him. She showed the picture of all the kids except for the new baby. Um, and, uh, See, that's a shit it's I just, don't Yeah, like. it's just very wild. Like, girl. Um, I think that it sucks, but I think that she, they about to be, like, super close now because his mother died. Yeah, and she was just at um the twins' birthday party. What twins? Her best friends, Malika and Khadijah. Oh, Malika and Khadijah. Let me see. Oh, look at the fat baby. Oh, he is so cute. Mm -hmm. Tristan looks like a body boy. And my thing is, it's just like... He's so cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the brother. Don't be putting... You already showed him. Well, I guess that's an old picture. Uh -huh. Oh, he is so cute. Um, But, yeah, she's like, happy birthday. You are truly the best father, brother, and uncle. Your love, attention, silly dances, hug. Like, girl! Girl! Girl, girl, girl. She loves the trash. Happy ass birthday, nigga. baby daddy. That's how she ended it. She loves a trash ass nigga. It's just like I would that's something that I would have kept in the dress. Or it would have been in my the green thing. Uh, yeah, I saw on YouTube that um recently a post that came out of her is they were they called her out about um photoshopping it. But it's just like at this point, Chloe, you don't have to photoshop anything because you weigh five pounds. Yeah. It's what you always it's wanted. Wow. Um can we talk about Young Miami real quick? Mm -hmm. Young Miami, I don't want you saying that um, anybody's hate. 
I'm gonna tell y'all the reason that I do not watch BMF is because I honestly cannot take how ghetto and horrible some of the acting is. It's just certain shit I don't watch. I don't watch BT movies. I don't watch some of those Tyler Perry. Movies. What was the what's the one with uh, the show that Karan was obsessed with? Everybody was watching the Tyler know. Perry show. Everybody was watching it every week. Not sisters. I think the shit's still coming on. Who? And something, about, something about being in um. In the White House or something? Yeah, like Ver that? and it's a crazy girl with their name Veronica. I don't, I don't know. know. But that was a show that I can't I can't watch no trash ass show, and that's why I can't watch BMF. And Carisha, you fit right in. I'll say that. Cause that scene that I saw a year. My Carisha scene had me wondering if you want to start your acting career. No, uh -huh. had me wondering if everybody's acting was bad because even the the scene that she was in, the guy who's a normal guy, I was like, "Well, does is his acting bad? See, what is this show about?" I hate it. It's about some drug dealers. Yeah, it's very um, wild. So, Carisha, you know I love you, but. Wasn't she on something else? Now she was on a new movie on um, Netflix, and she was funny on that movie. I don't think you. Oh yeah, didn't make it London. Yeah, I didn't make it. Um, she was funny on that movie, so I think she should stick to rom com. Some people just can't do drama. Yeah, yeah. So, hmm. um, Young and May, I feel really bad about how Young and May looks right now. Um, everybody goes through a rough patch um we don't know if young and may is sick or if she is still on drugs or whatever but i saw a video of her yesterday and i just my jaw dropped like i was just like i don't think she's on drugs i heard that um she had well i think i read somewhere that she has been hospitalized for like a few of uh, like illnesses or something like that but also um i heard that she also put herself in rehab like in december for mm -hmm. drinking so i'm thinking maybe something like with her liver just well i was gonna say somebody said something yellow. about cirrhosis oh i don't know about that that's um, crazy though but her eyes kind of look yellow and that's kind of like jaundice and sometimes that could be it but again you just never know listen when y'all bitches be talking about how y'all be drinking henny by the bottle i don't think it's funny it's, it's hard. It's Yo, do you remember that time we went to a cookout with one of our old friends and this bitch was drinking um, Jack Daniels, like just sipping it out of a cup? You might don't remember that. That I was many, 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 many years ago. But me and Tanae was like, Yep, no. I you just it. drinking it like it's fucking Kool Aid? That's a problem. So mm -hmm. I feel bad because Young and May is still young. So I'm hoping that she pulls it together mm -hmm. and just. I hope she just gets better. Yeah, just take some, just get out of the spotlight and just take some time. Well, she hasn't been in the spotlight, so I hope she gets better. What's going on with uh, Haley ba Bailey? Um, nothing. We the, the new. I didn't know if we had spoke since the trailer had came out for. Oh yeah, um, the yeah, Little Mermaid. Yeah, yeah. She looks so beautiful and so pretty. So I just want to say congratulations again. Yeah, and I'm excited to see. Um, because at first I was trying to see how. Um, what's the girl name that's going to be Ursula? Oh, Funny white um, girl. yeah, I love her. I can't think of her name. I though. didn't know how that was gonna work out, but when I saw the the post mm -hmm. that Uncle L sent it to me the other day, I was like, okay, yeah, okay, I think it's okay. Be a good time. I think it's gonna be a good time, so I'm excited about it. And she looked really pretty up at the Oscars. Um, speaking of the Oscars, for me, the Oscars was kind of awkward because I was waiting for some Will Smith jokes, and a couple of them did come out. It wasn't necessarily like mm -hmm. a Will Smith joke, but um, like Jimmy Kimmel was like, "It's so boring to hear." I almost wish that um somebody was getting slapped. I just... It's funny, though. No. And then when Angela Bassett lost and she was like... You know, like, usually when they lose, they still be, like, congratulating the other person mm -hmm. or they crack a smile or they clap. No. Nothing. Mm -mm. Not even a crack of a smile. Nope. Not a clap. Mm -mm. I don't even think she looked that way. Yeah. So, um... But, um... Actually, Rihanna did really good. That's why I really wanted to watch some of it. I oh, she so? For Rihanna! I mean for Rihanna. Okay. You thought it was a bad Rihanna performance? I thought it was a normal Rihanna performance. I Well, see, let me tell you what happened. I wasn't watching the Oscars. I was watching something else. And whatever I, w I was watching, like, it was ending. Mm -hmm. So I had pressed exit. And so when I pressed exit, it Rihanna was, was performing. And I was like, oh, okay, great. Right on right time. On and then I watched the whole thing and I was like, oh, Okay. See, it's me. It was more of the ending and the ad libs. We need that. 
we ain't need it. But I'm glad you did it. You did a good job, Brianna. Um, what's Phaedra on? Phaedra's on what? Mary the Medicine. Oh, she didn't make it? Yes! Dr. Heavenly said it. But Dr. Heavenly also was like, Dr. Heavenly is the, the ghetto one, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. She was also like, I like Phaedra, but if she tried to crack slick, like, I'm going to do something. It's like, girl. Wait, so is it a trailer or was it just Dr. Heavenly No, talking? it was Dr. Heavenly talking, oh, okay. like, on a lie. But it's just like, girl, Phaedra will eat you fuck up, I'm Dr. Excited. Heavenly. I'm excited. So, I want you to stay on the friend side. But also, um, Married to Medicine is on some shit because they bringing back Quad's ex-husband with his, his new, new wife. Beyonce, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She hates his ass, so it's mm -hmm. just going to be a fucking mess. Okay, let's do a few more. Hmm, fuck Chris Rock. Hmm, Tiger Woods gets you by his ex-girlfriend. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. It's just Leave them alone. I, that's all I got to say. If you stop messing with them, maybe you want to I was going to say, it's, it's giving white people. You like the same type of lady, so. What did Lil Nas do with the LGBT? <laughs> it's not funny. It was your face. Uh, <laughs> Um, so he, um, kind of had put up like, he put up a picture of him in his new hair and I love his new hair. It's, going on his new hair. it's like his dreads are just longer and he hasn't been like ponytails or whatever. Mm -hmm. He's, he, I feel like Nas, little Nas X is so cute. Um, so, um, so either way he put up, um, a post about like, basically saying like, he was transitioning or whatever. Some, like making a joke about transitioning. Oh, God. And then the very next post was a picture of a young lady who he said was him or like photoshopped into him. I really don't know. Uh, and then he was, it was like surgery is complete. And of course, you know, the LG, a lot of LGBTQ. Well, I don't want to say LGBTQ. The T's of the LGBTQ were very, very offended uh -huh. by it or whatever. And at first he didn't apologize. It was more like, y'all can suck my dick because uh -huh. it was just a joke. But then he came out and apologized. <laughs> you know, but I just think I'm like, y'all can be upset with and whatever y'all upset with. I get it. It's just like, I just really didn't hear a, a lot of this outrage when he was promoting his album with the fake Pretty belly. Pregnancy, yeah. Like, so I mean, it's just like, it's kind of like picking and choosing, but again, it's not my fight. So whatever y'all yeah. want to do, I'm supporting y'all. If y'all want to fight, I'm going to help y'all fight. If y'all want to chill, then I'm going to let it ride. I, I I definitely understand what you're saying, but I know that with um, the transgender community, they just feel like they um, have to go through so much just going into that lifestyle and just the judgment and then people just want to kill them for no reason so it's just like don't play like you one of us now like they probably didn't even know that because all he do is fucking joke like that's what he does he mm -hmm. jokes this is so crazy because i'm back watching if y'all know i used to be like a rupaul's drag race stan so i'm watching a new season and um i was watching it over from the beginning and some of the drag queens have been they were saying they've been in you know going in drag for 14 15 years mm -hmm. But then they have these new ones that came on there who literally just got famous from TikTok and they've only been dressing up for a year. They haven't mm -hmm. done like the balls or mm -hmm. anything. And they're just like, why, why would RuPaul we, even invite, invite them? Like, why they call them baby, uh, mm -hmm. baby queens on here. But it's like a big deal to that community. So it's just like, Lil yeah. Nas, tread lightly, please. Cause... I mean, yeah. But I mean, I guess he felt like, you know, it's his cousin. So he can joke with y'all. <laughs> Um, so that's all the topics, but I did want to tell y'all that, <laughs> um, Power comes back on this Friday. I am super excited because y'all know, I was watching some of it from last night. I forgot about Zeke dying. Lauren done fucking died. I forgot about Zeke yes. Lauren dying. Yes. And he don't know, you know, Monet don't know that her husband killed Zeke. Mm -hmm. Like it's, make sure y'all catching it's going to be a lot. Um. And they were saying that now that Tariq is, well, Michael Rainey Jr. is older now, he's going to have, like, more in-depth sex scenes. I'm it's just like, this to, is our nephew. I'm going to have to. I'm, cause y'all, I would she couldn't even watch ghost sex scenes, so. It, it would make me sick. So, um, yeah. I, I have been watching. Oh, so Real House, I was going to. But I wanted to say, please watch SWV and Escape Show. Lord, I never really got into the mess. Like, I always knew that Tasha and Candy didn't like each other. But this season, Tasha does not even like her own sister. Mm -hmm. But Tasha is a bitch. Like, 
a real bitch yeah. like a bitch that you just want to jump through the tv and bang that bitch like See, i don't watch this uh, show inconsiderate she's bitch all, she's always given that to me and that's why she's the problem oh I've been saying she the problem. And once I saw, even with me not even being the biggest fan of Candy, I've always thought she was the problem. And once I saw the sister singing with Candy and Tiny, I was like, she has to be the problem. Oh, my God. It's horrible. Because it's just like, your sister would not choose them if you wasn't the problem. It's so horrible. All right, guys. We're going to do five questions, and we're going to go. Where do you lack discipline in your life? I talked about it. I, was, I feel like we talked about it in the beginning. Definitely. Um, have you ever cried at the movies? Absolutely. I cry at horror films. I don't so. know if I've cried. <laughs> no. Because today I'm hey, literally. Up. Yo, when we went to go see Amityville Hog, Tanea cried tears. Like, literally. And up. blamed me for bringing her. Um... If you were going to poison someone, how would you do it? I if I today would, would do it through food. I would do it through food, and I wouldn't do it at once. I would do a little bit by a little bit by a little bit by a little bit by a little bit. I probably would do it through food, or I would like put it in their drink. Mm -hmm. Probably. Are you a good judge of character? Um, I think I am sometimes. I'm I think a, I I I feel like I am a good judge of character, but I still allow people that be them so i think that i am sometimes because i'm not a very observant person so it's just like one day i just be like oh that's the type of person you are yeah and one more <laughs> um what's the longest movie you've ever watched i'm gonna have to say Probably i'm the titanic i was gonna yeah. say i'm gonna name three the titanic the Curious Case of Benjamin Button and The Color Purple. Or The Sound of Music. I don't know how long, which one, because The Sound of Music is two tapes. So. <laughs> you you do what you want to. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, don't forget that if you want to get you a dinner for the fish fry, DM Tanea. Y'all will see it posted on my social media. I don't want y'all to think that I broke my length, though. Tanea's going to sign in. Yeah, because in I know more people follow her, so I'm going to sign in. But, y'all, to, to let everybody know, but still... DM me and reach out to me. And you can reach out to Tanea um, and come with your um, exactly what you want in your order. She's going to post the full menu. So don't be a slow person. Don't DM and say, I want a chicken dinner. Please don't do that. Um, and don't forget that I'll leave information in the description box. If you have any more questions, you can reach out to me under in the comments or you can DM Tanea. I'll be back April the 6th. If this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe. We will be here every week with an all new video. Also, y'all have a great, um, happy St. Patrick's Day. I forgot St. Patrick's Day is coming out. Yeah. We like St. Patrick's Day. We do. For the people who have been watching, make sure you share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell somebody about the show. And we'll see you guys next week. And if you didn't know, now you know. There's, oh, I almost forgot my words. There's no show at the show. We gotta go. So you have easier words. I forgot mine when you judge me. <laughs>